If you weren't, I was going to do it here. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Powerline. It's Kaiser here. Uh, here are the deck profile of my Vanquisher deck. Uh, this is pre GBT09 because it's obviously not out here yet. And I'm very excited for BT09, but this is kind of like a prep video to show you like where my build's at right now and where I see it going post everything. So let's get started. We use Wild Run Dragoon. Now this card's really good just because you don't your opponent doesn't need a field for you to actually take advantage of it. And then you give something 5k. So like I typically save this either for later in the game or I use it to enable Thunderstrike too. So that way I can get off more effects. Um, they have a new starter coming out, which is basically a Sad Egg clone, but it can only be used on your turn. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yet, but I have to do a lot of testing when BT09 comes out. So that's another option. We run 7 crits. Um, you'll see why I'm only running 7. I typically run 8 on all our Akami decks, but 7 just has been okay for me so far. 3 draw, yeah, this is kind of a weird number, but it makes sense because I have to run 2 stands. Now... Unfortunately, Vanquisher doesn't really have an unflipping engine, so you kind of have to use these to cheese out things. And the way it's worded, actually, and it's worth noting, is that if your opponent's card is put into the drop zone, you can use this card's effect. So if you VMAX them and you only have one counter blast and you have one of these out, you are able to uh, get another counter blast off so you can do the damage pinging effect. And then obviously we run four of the best heal trigger ever. So now... On to grade ones. Four unflipping perfect guards. Uh, you can run the new Gould when it comes out, but once again, like I think the unflipping is really important, so I'm not going to change from that personally. Uh, four stride enablers. Uh, really important that you stride in this deck, obviously. So I don't really have to go into that. And also, it's important to search for Vanquisher, because if you don't ride Vanquisher in this deck, you are in bad shape. Okay. Four Chainbolt Dragoon. This card is so important, it's ridiculous. And why we need to be on Vanquisher? Because... But this card basically nets you a bunch of a bunch of cards to bind from drop and give a unit 2k, which can be relevant, but it's usually not. But the binding is really what's important. So you can end up stacking a bunch of things and drop easily. And then two Rising Phoenix, which will become the new VN clone. Or VN. What is it? VN. Uh, the new Phoenix clone that's 6k, Thunderstrike 2, Soul Blast 1. So I'll be playing that when it comes out because that card's really good. Great twos for Voltage Horn. Super MVP in the deck because it's very efficient and reusable removal as well as you can bind cards and get off your Thunderstrike effects earlier, which is very good. For Chatterer, because it is one of the most awesome grade twos in the game, except when you ride it. And then we run three Death Scythe. Um, so I'm probably going to... I have, I'm still figuring out this grade 2 slot right now. I like Death Scythe because it's early game, but it's a little steep on the Counter Blast. I would run the new Martial Arts Dragon to deal with Brush, but... Even then, like, I'm still experimenting to figure out what works for me. So, we'll see what happens. Um, grade threes. We run two Blitz Spear Dragoon. I, I like this card a lot because, hypothetically, if I G-Assist and I can't ride Vanquisher, this is the other card I really want to ride. So, this can at least deal with Rush on, on some level, but it's still obviously not as good as having Vanquisher. And then two One, stri two, one Strike, Two Hit Drag Jins. Oh my god, I just butchered that to, the, to hell. Um, this card kind of makes up for having a crappy first stride because you can start hitting cards in your opponent's field. And if you get a stand trigger, it's fun to note that you can hit again. So that's pretty cool. And then for Vanquisher, because this is the card you want to ride. You really need to ride Vanquisher to, to function in this deck properly. So that's important. Uh, you run Zorus as our first stride. Um... Yeah, I'm still a little salty that I have to even run this card, but there's no other real choice. You can first try Voltage when VMAX comes out, but you want to go into Zorus. Uh, I run... Yeah, Zorus! Okay. So then we run two Voltex Zappers right now. I'm going to cut that down a bit when VMAX comes out, obviously, but I like this card a lot because it kind of punishes Rush, and if you can get to the Thunderstrike effect enough, you... uh, I think it's Thunderstrike 3. Yeah, it's Thunderstrike 3. That's what I thought. If you can get that effect off, then you're able to <laughs> you're able to punish rush decks a lot. And then finish blow. Um, usually, I don't recommend this card, but in this deck, it's okay because you kind of want to push your opponent to higher damage. So that way, when Vmax comes out, you're able to punish them. And basically, the way I've thought about it, and my friend Mustafa, hi Mustafa, put it to me, is four is the new five, five is the new six, and so on and so forth. So. 
finish blow can kind of punish them if they guard your first stride. You can go, okay, finish blow, I have a voltage horn out, so I'm going to be able to push them to higher damage. If they guard it again, that's cool too, because then they're guarding a bunch of attacks they really shouldn't be guarding. All right, and now for Conquest, um, I hate to say it, but this card's going to go down to two when VMAX comes out, because as good as Conquest was in G-Guard format, it's not that good, because 10k power isn't really enough to be as threatening. However, Voltage is much better in this deck, and you're able to get out much higher numbers a lot faster, at least with the way the deck plays. Between Chain Bolt and Wild Run and just everything, you're able to get a bunch of cards into Bind Zone really easily, and then you can take advantage of that, which is great. So that's usually your second and third stride, or at Conquest you could throw it in. Uh, G-Guards, for now you run two of this. It's the In this deck it's actually okay because you're able to get to it really easily, but Bulwark in this deck has some cheeky combos when it comes out. So that's important to note. Screw right now because we don't really have anything else, and Dismal. I'll continue to run Dismal actually because in the mirror match you could end up losing if you're not careful. So Dismal prevents that. But anyway, guys, um, in terms of the deck and the way I see it evolving post everything, I think the only things in the main deck I'm going to change would be the Phoenixes into the new 6K, Scythe into something else. I'm not really sure what yet. And maybe the new Sadig starter for the main deck. And then for the Stride Zone, you take out Zapper, two Conquests, you put in uh, three VMAX, and you take out these two for the Bulwark. So, and it's also important to note that Chain Bolt and Vanquisher's GB2 goes off in your opponent's turn if you Bulwark and retire something, so you can kind of cheese out things that way, as much as I enjoy that. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.